So, I have just been informed via the interwebs that this is not ham radio. This is not ham radio. This one here is not ham radio. And this one here definitely not ham radio. So, what is and isn't ham radio in the new millennium? Let's talk about that this time on K6 UDA Radio. Every time I put out a video on DMR, on D-Star, on Fusion, I invariably get the comments from the experts Expert. that tell me that that isn't real ham radio. If it touches the internet, it isn't ham radio, and it's just VoIP. Well, I gotta disagree, and here's why. Now this is the same flawed thinking that makes you say, this is a real motorcycle, but this is not. Both of these are motorcycles. This one is obviously bigger. It's capable of going faster, longer distances. This is just as much fun. And to ride this thing on the street, I still have to be licensed. This still has to be registered with DMV. So there's no question in anybody's mind that if I'm sitting here on my local two meter repeater that this is ham radio, correct? And among those experts, Expert. there's little disagreement that this is not ham radio, correct? But what if this ham radio is connected to my local 440 repeater train? My master made me this collar. He is a good and smart master and he made me this collar so that I may talk. Squirrel! When does talking on my local 440 repeater cease being ham radio? Is it when the 440 repeater that I'm talking on is a fusion repeater? Or is it when that fusion repeater is hooked up to Wires X? Does that stop being ham radio? And what about the guys that are getting into my local 440 repeater using one of these? Where does the ham radio stop and the VoIP part start? <laughs> Some of you experts Expert. tell me ad nauseum that this is absolutely nothing more than using this. This is a radio transceiver. This is a radio transceiver, and this is a radio transceiver, and this is a radio transceiver, and even this is a radio transceiver. So what's the difference? Well, it's because this one is on the cellular network. I don't need a license for it, number one. I can talk to one person, maybe two people at best, but generally, I have to know the number of the person that I'm calling in order to talk to them. This, on the other hand, becomes my little FM repeater. I could get on, uh, you know, Reflector 30 Charlie or America Link or YouTubers, and I could call CQ, and I could talk to anybody else connected in the world who's connected to that portal. You say, oh, well, it's nothing more than a chat room. Okay. So I could get on the internet and I can get on a chat room without a license. Can I get on 30 Charlie using this without a license? I think if I did, most of you guys would be calling the FCC in record time. But allow me to digress for just a moment. What exactly is ham radio? Well, according to Wikipedia. So amateur radio, also known as ham radio, is the use of radio frequency spectrum for purposes of non-commercial exchange of messages, wireless experimentation, self-training, private recreation, radio sport, contesting, and emergency communication. Radio amateurs use a variety of voice, text, image, and data communication modes to have access to frequency allocations throughout the RF spectrum. This enables communication across city, region, country, continent, 
the world and even into space. In many countries, amateur radio operators may also send, receive, or relay radio communications between computers or transceivers connected to secure virtual private networks on the internet. <laughs> and furthermore, we can ask a real expert, Alexa. What is ham radio? Ham radio, while as a whole is a very small community, there are many things to do or sub-interests within the hobby. Just as HF enthusiasts and CW aficionados enjoy their craft, some hams enjoy building things, some to the exclusion of actually using the radio. Hams who enjoy using digital modes such as Fusion, DMR and D-Star are in fact using real ham radio as defined on the interwebs. Their reasons may be HO or restrictions, license privileges, or just making contacts during low solar cycles. Will that be all, my lord? Shall I repeat myself like a frickin' parrot? The pure HFers in the uh, audience who will say, if it's not HF, it's not real ham radio. There are a ton of you, and I know it because I hear you and I talk to you on HF, that uh, you go, wait, let, I can't hear you, let me switch to the Utah STR. <laughs> so come on guys, let's get a grip. This is a very, very big hobby within a tiny little group of hobbyists. There is room for everybody and a whole bunch of different uh, activities and interests. Now guys, I want to give credit where credit is due. And I don't want to forget the brave pioneers of the 80s and 90s who were uh, experimenting with IRLP, Echolink, and All Stars. All three of which use the internet to communicate. But then again, I never heard anybody say that that wasn't ham radio. And guys, let's not forget all the kids and all the future generations that uh, may be interested in this hobby. If we exclude everything internet, we are taking a huge portion of that population and turning them off. Because frankly, everything they do all of the new technology, almost everything, the Internet of Things, it all revolves around the Internet. It all revolves around computers and technology and connectivity. This is as much ham radio as anything else I've seen. It's just a future version. It's something new. And really, when you think about it, who knows what the world is going to be like and what this hobby is going to be like in 10 or 20 years when these kids start growing up. This hobby is far different than it was just 20 years ago. It's light years ahead of what it was 50 years ago. Now I know some of you say, well, that's a bad thing. Well, okay, is color television a bad thing? Because 50 years ago, it was all black and white TV. Is cable TV or satellite TV a bad thing? Because 30 years ago, there was NBC, ABC, and CBS, and then sprang the internet. And with it, the infancy of a new type of ham radio, a new type of operating, it is going to be awesome. I can only imagine what this hobby is gonna be in another 15 to 20 years when I am an old, old man, if I make it that far. I will be proud to say that I was a proponent of using every tool available today to make ham radio of tomorrow a better place to be and more active for everybody. So guys, if you have a comment, leave it down below in the uh, comment sections. You could always send me an email if you've got something a little more private. There's the email. And if you haven't already done it, give it a thumbs up. 
Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification with all notifications so you get notified every time I make a video. Please uh, consider supporting me on Patreon or PayPal and have a great day. We'll see you on the bands. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.